Neuroscience is the study of our nervous systems, with the primary focus being the brain. And there is a close relationship between neuroscience and emotional intelligence. In the academic world, neuroscience is the study of the properties and the behaviours of the whole nervous system. As well as the brain, it includes everything that your brain connects to, your spinal cord and your central and peripheral nervous system. The subject combines anatomy, physiology, cell biology, molecular biology, psychology, behavioural science, biochemistry and loads more. But we aren't neuroscientists and we aren't academics. We just want to learn the bits that will help us to manage and lead the people that we're responsible for. So a useful working definition in this narrow context is neuroscience is about understanding how the brain works. So we can learn to control our responses, manage our behaviours and make resourceful choices. So I hope that you will think, like I do, that the link to emotional intelligence is evident. A large part of emotional intelligence is about gaining control over your instinctive and emotional reactions in order to operate more effectively in a workplace environment. And this is also our prime concern in looking for things that we can learn from neuroscience in the world of work. We want to use the results of neuroscience research to gain control of the reasoning parts of our brain and to keep those reasoning parts online for more of the time. In her book, Neuroscience for Project Success, Carol Osterweil offers us a powerful way to think about emotional intelligence in terms of our thinking brain and our emotional brain. When we looked at emotional intelligence, we saw four principal components. Self-awareness, self-regulation, social awareness and social skills. Osterweil maps the state of your thinking brain the part that does the reasoning, onto these four emotional intelligence domains. Self-awareness is about becoming aware of the extent to which your thinking brain is online and the extent to which it is competing with your emotional brain. Once you're aware of the balance between your thinking brain and your emotional brain at any one moment, self-regulation is about your ability to bring the thinking brain to the fore and to push your emotional brain backwards a little. You want your thinking brain to be more online and once it is online, to keep it there for as long as possible. Next, you can turn your attention to other people. You will only get the best from them when their thinking brains are online too and social awareness is your ability to assess the extent to which their thinking brain is online or itself being overpowered by their emotional brains. Finally, social skills are understanding how, and often in challenging situations, you can bring other people's thinking brains more online and to keep their thinking brains online through the stresses and challenges of those situations. I like this model. I think there is a lot in it. And there is also a lot more in Carol Osterweil's wonderful book. If you work in an environment where you are called upon to deliver new initiatives, to manage projects or to contribute to leading change, then I do encourage you to take a look at Neuroscience for Project Success by Carol Osterweil. And if you've enjoyed or learned from this video, please do give us a like. I'll be creating loads more great management courses content for you. So please do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you don't miss any. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. In the meantime, keep learning.